Hello people! So, today I'm going to be going over a, a little bit of an interesting uh, topic. This is like a character uh, review of uh, Papyrus. It's kind of weird that I haven't done one already. <laughs> and why not? Um, I've been doing ones of AU characters, but let's actually do one of the main ones. So, yes! Oh, and if you're wondering why on the video for this, why I'm using display papyrus. Uh, that's because I didn't have enough time to actually get footage of actual <laughs> papyrus. Uh, I record these right before work, so didn't really have a, a lot of time. But all right, let's go ahead and get into this. So the cool things about papyrus, or at least the things I think is cool about him, like part of what makes him like a, a, a good character and pushes him forward from the standard. And some of this stuff is very like standard stuff that you probably heard from other people, but um, I'll give I'll get to the one that like most people will recognize for virus and it is his forgiveness and I also added trying to encourage you. For virus is in the dark route the entire time is tell is giving you encouragement, telling you that you can still change despite your actions which that is such a powerful message uh, that Papyrus gives you. When it comes to the other characters, like Sans is constantly trying to stop you. Considerable well, granted, you know, you've already done more awful things. Undyne is being the hero, but Papyrus is looking at you. Papyrus is seeing you and giving you those encouragements and even after you defeat him he has this sort of um thing about him and maybe it's just me like it, it feels bad when you actually defeat him this is one of the cool things about papyrus is he still stays consistent about that and great my mind also thinks to like some of the a um in au in particular hand plates hand plates does an interesting job in regards to depicting that version of papyrus and in that one they also are rather consistent or papyrus is rather consistent and forgiving this is supposed to be about the mainline stuff however i can't deny my mind went to that um <laughs> in that regard but still Papyrus just is such a well-written character in that regard. Now, another thing I was going to add is Papyrus' self-confidence. Now, as far as like the male that we see where Sans has a lot of male, we don't know what that male entails. However, one way you could depict that is that Papyrus isn't as popular as Sans. However, despite that, and granted we don't know that if that's what the male is for, but despite that, Papyrus is still ongoing, he has his mission, and he tries to pursue it. However, he isn't so far gone to the point where he is he is set on defeating you. He even changes his um, mind on things, but that doesn't mean that he's necessarily given up on his goal. So it's it's rather he's an interesting character in that regard and another lesson that can be learned from him is believing in yourself and staying confident so that's another cool thing about papyrus now the final one on here and i'm not even sure if i can really provide much on this one um his sort of love advice where after he recognizes that he doesn't have those sort of feelings towards towards you he still wants to keep up those those friendships and and he does that he you you guys end up becoming closer friends afterwards or at the very least you guys continue your friendship and that's another cool lesson that papyrus will give you you know so sorry that last one was so short but yeah Papyrus is such a well-written character, um, and let me know what you guys like about Papyrus. Um, what you guys think makes him such a good character. It can be one of the points I gave, it can be a point that I didn't mention either. And if you have any recommendations as to what character I could discuss next. Um, but yeah, sorry for the short video and whatnot. Gotta go to work. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Till next time.